Hey everyone, in this game tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some text, the text effect that uh, Modern Warfare 2 uses in its logo. So your end product is going to look like this, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's get, get right into it. So what you're going to want to do is click File New and make a any size you want, but I'm going to do 3D39 by 70 and just hit OK and then the okay let's drag it over and then um... fill the uh... background layer with black and then here All right, i just zoomed in for a little and then um... just click your text button and click or uh... type whatever you want i'm gonna write text smurf in it and then um... go over here make the text white so we'll make it white like that and then put it somewhere in the middle and now you can make it the text as big or as small as you want it doesn't matter but make sure and do not move the text once you have uh, once you've moved it like if that makes any sense just uh, leave it where it is after you're done because the neon glow and all that effects that you put on it are gonna uh, you'll have to redo the whole thing if you don't so uh, the text I'm using is bank gothic medium semi exposed or yes yeah, semi exposed and so I'll put it on the in the description for a link to download it but so all you have to do is now that you've got your first text layer just select select that layer and click the duplicate button three times so you should have uh, number one two and three text layer and then your normal text layer so select your bottom layer, your bottom text layer, and uh, that shouldn't have any numbers. And select and go to filters, alpha to logo, neon, and click that. Now what you want to do is your glow color should be white, and make the effect size 35. Now that you've done that, just take the background number one, and you can either merge it down or delete it. I'm just going to delete it and then take the neon tubes and merge it down to the neon glow and take the opacity down to about 50 I'll just put it at 50 alright so now that you've got that just select the neon glow layer that you've merged down and select filters distorts erase every other row and then just press ok all the settings should be good now that you've done that you can go to your text layer number one and uh, just take this and select filters alpha to logo neon just like you did before and what you're going to want to do this time glow color as a medium green like that and make the effect size 10 and then press ok now that you've done that, you're going to want to delete the background layer and merge down just like you did before the neon glow to the neon tubes, or the neon tubes to the glow, sorry. And, uh, okay, so now that you've got this, you can do the same thing with uh, text layer number two. Just go filters, alpha to logo, neon. But in this size, in this time, keep the glow color the same green, but make the effect size between 15 and 25 doesn't matter uh, depending on the size of the uh, neon that you want I'm make it 25 and then take the background number one and delete it and so then you can just merge all your layers down and uh, mer merge them down and uh, then you're good to go and you can then uh, save it as a GIMP file or as PNG or JPEG or whatever you want or you could animate it into a .gif file. So if you have any questions on this, uh, just leave a comment below or send me a message. If you saw, thought that this video helped you, then please rate 5 stars and subscribe to my videos for more GIMP tutorials and uh, Windows tutorials. So thanks everyone. Bye.